Welcome back to FF2M coverage here at Monza. This time we are here for the sprint race and the third to last race of the 2014 FF2M season. I am your commentator once again, Joseph Wellows, and in yesterday's sprint race, we crowned the 2014 FF2M champion, courtesy of Thomas Gonzalez. He, he is now your champion. The Drivers' Championship has now been wrapped up, and it's now just a question of the team's championship, which could also be wrapped up today. Spaniel are 31 points clear of Willows going into this race. They just need four more points, I believe, four or five more points to wrap up the team's championship today, and it could be possible. But we will have to wait and see, of course, if they are able to make it the double this weekend here at Monza. As you can see yesterday, not only did Gonzalez win the championship, but he also won the race as well after Van Dorn and Cooper Lee had contact on the first lap at the first corner. So in today's sprint race we'll only have 12 laps around here at Monza. Uh, as a reminder the layout that we are using is the modern day layout of Monza albeit the uh, surroundings of the track look a little bit more uh, retro but it is the modern day layout that is for sure and uh, 5.77 kilometers around the Autodromo Nazionale di Monza circuit right on the outskirts of Milan in Italy and hopefully we will be in for an exciting sprint race. No pit stops of course it is just a sprint to the finish as we've got a great view of the skyline there at uh, here at Monza especially the park that surrounds the circuit but anyway here is the grid then for the sprint race obviously the top eight reverse from yesterday so it's Gencho Chi on pole position with Felipe Nazar in second Isuki Yoshida in third with Stoffel Van Dorn in fourth Esteban Ocon will start in fifth with Antonio Felix da Costa in sixth Charles Peck is seventh with Thomas Gonzalez in eighth Benjamin Pryor in ninth and Max Verstappen in tenth so the results stayed like that today the team's championship would continue on in the standalone event at Barcelona as uh, uh, Van Dorn is in 4th and Ocon is in 5th. Here's the rest of the grid. Daniel Kofiat in 11th. Nicholas the TV 12th. Will Stevens 13th with Pascal Verline in 14th. Max Chilton is in 15th with Pierre Gasly in 16th. Alexander Rossi 17th. Naoki Yamamoto in 18th with Sergei Sorotkin 19th. Fabio Lima in 20th. Cooper Lee in 21st and Marcus Ericsson is in 22nd and last. Whether we'll get the carnage that we saw yesterday with all the bumping and that that we saw in the feature race yesterday, we will have to wait and see. But uh, it should hopefully be an exciting sprint race. 12 laps of action as we mentioned, so let's get down to the track. Then the five laps are on and we are underway for the sprint race here at Monza. Will the team's championship be decided today? And it seems to be a good start from Gencho Chi who's trying to get away from uh, from Felipe Nazar. They're making their way down towards Tour 1 now. Can he avoid the contact that we saw yesterday? And there has been contact. The two AJ cars have made contact. Yoshida and... Uh, and, uh, and, and, and Chi have made contact and uh, there's carnage all over the place, cars all over the place as we speak and uh, it looks like Van Dorn has got himself involved yet again at the first corner as we run on board with Max Verstappen and he's lost his rear wings so he's going to have to make a trip to the pits. One of the Lavazza cars has lost their front wing, I believe that's Nicholas Latifi who's lost his front wing as we're now going to get a replay from uh, one of the OLM racing cars of the start now then. As uh, we go through the five red lights, as he was getting ready, he was starting right behind uh, Fabio Lima, who had quite a tricky race in the uh, feature race yesterday. And uh, I'm trying to figure out which one this is. This might be uh, Pierre Gasly, or it could be Cooper Lee, I'm not 100% sure. But as you see, he got swarmed at the start there. And as they made their way down towards the first corner, as you see, look at all the argybody that was going on. And then he got involved as well. There was a spin there for Lima, I believe that was. And it was just carnage all over the place. Van Dorn has actually got himself up into third. So, in fact, he didn't get involved in the first corner carnage. I do apologize for that. I didn't quite see his name there on the timing board. So, uh, my error there. But at the moment, Felipe Nazar is leading the race from Gencho Chi in second. Stoffel Van Dorn is in third with your Yoshida in 4th position, and then it's Ocon in 5th, Lee in 6th, Kofiat 7th, and Gasly rounding out the top 8 now. Then there's Van Dorn, he's on the inside of Yoshida, he's going to the inside, and Van Dorn takes 2nd place. So at the moment, the team's championship will continue on at Barcelona if it stays like this, with neither of the Spaniels being in the points, and it could be very soon, as Gonzalez is now 2 places away from the points, and Kofiat has been pushed off the track there, and, uh, well... Again, he's been pushed off at this car. It's meantime, side by side action between Gasly and Gonzalez. They made their way through the first again. This is not going to end well. Contact between Lima and Val and Ericsson there. But um, 
They're just able to stay on track. Luckily, no spinners there at that point as the casualties from the first lap are now in the pits to repair either the front wings or rear wings, that being Latifi and Verstappen, of course. As Gonzalez now then on the inside of Gasly, can he take P7 from the Frenchman? And yes, he can. Up into seventh place goes the new champion, Thomas Gonzalez. As now De Costa, more contact there with Alexander Rossi, and that's allowed Ericsson to go through there as Yoshida now then on the back of Esteban Ocon. Can he get fourth place from him? Ocon has already got him unseen by the cameras, but Yoshida wants that place back. If you can, they've also got Cooper Lee to worry about behind as they make their way through Ascari now then. And out of the corner, we now go now then as they make their way down towards the um uh, the, uh, the, the, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure the name now, there's contact and Vandon's gone off, Naz has gone off as well, that's given Chi the lead, and yet again, Vandon gets himself in more bother this weekend, and he's now found himself out of the point, and I'm just trying to work out in terms of the team's championship what that means, uh, I'm trying to work out in my head, as you can see a replay there, Vandon just going way too quick, quick hits the back of Naza, and they both Cost himself a chance of victory, and that's allowed Gencho Chi to get into the lead. And it's also allowed an AJ 1 2. Or will it? Because uh, we've now got three abreast going down towards the first chicane now, then, as we've got Lee, Yoshida, and Ocon. In fact, no, that's further back, actually. That's the likes of Pryor, Vandon, and Lima now, then, making their way through the first chicane. There's more contact. Vandon gets himself in more power. Lima's gone for a spin. And, uh, well, it's just carnage, like we saw in the feature race yesterday. And uh, Lima drops himself to the back of the pack as now. Ocon trying to get third place off Yoshida into the second chicane. It's very tight, but Ocon just about gets the place and moves up to third. But now we've got a three-way scrap. For second place, Ocon, Lee, and Yoshida making their way through the first chicane. This is not going to end well, is it? Contact's been made. Lee gets through there. Yoshida just able to hang on. And Ocon, the big loser out of all of it, he's dropped down to fourth. As a result, Ocon now then all over the back of Yoshida. Can he get the Japanese driver now then for P3? As they make their way towards the second chicane, he tried to hang it all the way around the outside of Curva Grande. It didn't quite work out, but uh, now can he flick it to the inside into the second part? Down the inside he goes, and again, Ocon gets himself back up into third position. But will we see a similar thing happen on the next lap as Ocon now fending off from Yoshida as they make their way towards the Ascari chicane? Now then for the third time, today's meantime in the background, Gonzalez is actually in the points. He moves up into sixth position as Yoshida's made contact with Ocon and they're both off, and that's going to allow Nasa and Gonzalez to gain places and uh, Nasa now back on the podium Gonzalez in fourth <coughs> excuse me <coughs> you can tell how much this is wearing me out as uh, now Gonzalez is now finding himself trying to get onto the podium if he can and this is all good for Spaniel, Danny inside goes Gonzalez. Can he get third from Naza? And yes, he can. The new champion is now on the podium as Pitt gets fifth now from Ocon as they now make their way down the straight. T now setting the fastest lap of the race. But now Naza trying to get Gonzalez back, just like Naza did with Ocon yesterday in the feature as Ocon trying to get back at Pitt. Naza's teammate, Naza gets back third, but Gonzalez is not having that. He's getting back onto the inside. Gonzalez a lot more smarter and he gets up into third position as Ocon retakes fifth from Shell Pick at the first chicane there. Then. More time as there's more contact. Rossi and Gasly have made contact at the first chicane. And, uh, well, they've now lost places as a result. And, uh, well... That's that's pretty much that, and that really is. Now we look at Ocon again. Now he's on the back of Naza, but Naza fends off there. Gonzalez has now started to get away now from Felipe Naza as a result. And I'm just thinking in terms of the team's championship. I'm just trying to work out in my head what that will mean. Uh, 23 plus uh, 12. Uh, well, obviously the maximum you'll get, they need to be over 35 points clear to win the championship. At the moment, uh, I don't think they will. I think Willows will still have a slim chance of winning it at the next race at Barcelona. Ocon gets up into fourth position and at the moment the gap will be uh, 32 points between Spaniel and Willow so Willows will still have a slim chance to win it at uh, at Barcelona if they can so at the moment they will keep their slim chances of the team's championship alive but uh, at the moment it's still advantage Spaniel in terms of winning it overall come the end of the season as the two uh, teammates now fighting out for fifth position Pick trying to get on the inside of Nasa it didn't quite work out and Pick having to stay behind Nasa for the time being that's allowing Kvyat to close up as well and even Vandon who is now on the inside of Kvyat can he take seventh place from uh, the pens are car and he can, but there is a bit of contact, but they managed to keep it stable. And Vandon, very aggressively there, moves up 
into 7th position and uh, now he's going to try and chase after the two teammates in front of Pick and Nazar. In fact, Pick going on the inside of Nazar, but Nazar again shutting the door, but Pick trying to get on the inside of the second chicane. No, he can't. Nazar holds on to 5th place for the moment as they make their way out of the second chicane now then and heading towards the first Lesmo on the track is now Pick again all over the back of Nazar. He's trying everything he can to get by him for 5th position. Is Vandal again having to go defensive for Danny Kafiat there through the Ascari chicane we go. As they'll now make their way towards Parabolica. Now then, 1.9 Remol is the gap between the leaders, Gencho Chi and Cooper Lee. As now going towards the final corner on the track. Now then, a Parabolica pick on the inside of Nazar. As Kafiat's on the inside of Vandon. And pick takes fifth place from Nazar. But will Nazar try and get him back on the pitch straight? As Kafiat is taking seventh place now from Stoffel Vandon in the background. As now Nazar going back on the inside of his own teammate. As Vandon getting back on the inside of Kafiat as predicted. Now then, as they make their way down towards the fish again the gap between the leaders now down to 1.7 seconds so we could have a battle for the lead in the closing stages of this sprint race as up in back up to fifth goes Nazar but Vandon Fen gets back up to the seventh again doing that aggressive move on Kafia and now that's brought in uh, one of the um one of the liquid target cars in that fight for Zen position. I'm not sure which one it is. It might be De Costa, I think, because Verstappen obviously had damage. So I think it's De Costa who's going to have in that fight. It's Pick now. Gets back up to the fifth place. And I think this time he's got the move done because Nazar has gone way too wide. And now that's allowed Vandon to put the pressure on him now. Then there's Vandon now trying to get in the slipstream of Felipe Nazar. The guy he made, he made contact with a little bit earlier on in the race, which possibly cost pair, the pair of them the victory as De Costa and Kafiat now fighting. Uh, for 8th position and De Costa takes 8th from the Russian there. Takes it away from his fellow Red Bull Academy driver there. But Kafir is not giving up. He's going back on the prowl around the outside of Curva Grande. Can Kafir get the move done? Or can De Costa just fend off going into this second chicane? Can Kafir get later on the brakes? And I think he can. And Kafir retakes the place of Antonio Felix De Costa there then. Out of the chicane we go, and now that's brought uh, one of the BWT cars in this fight now then, as Vandorn again having a look at NASA for 6th position, NASA fending off that final point at the moment, but as I said at the moment, the team's championship will continue on going into Barcelona if it stays like this, because Ocon is in 4th, right behind Gonzalez, Spaniel will only pick up 4 points, Willow's only 3, but it could be 4 as well, if Vandorn could get 6th position, now it's 4, because Vandorn has now got himself into the final points place, up into 6th position, but will NASA to try and get him back on the pitch straight. That is the question as they make their way down towards the first game. But meantime, we're on the final lap. Vandon just able to hold on and round the final corner. And it is going to be victory. And I think this is the first victory of the season for Gencho Chi. The AJ driver is going to win the sprint race here at Monza. A fantastic display. He got lucky with the contact with Nazar and Vandon. But still a brilliant win for the Chinese driver. And he takes the victory here at the sprint race at Monza. So here is your final results then. Gencho Chi wins the race by 2.6 seconds ahead of Cooper Lee in second, Thomas Gonzalez in third, Esteban Ocon in fourth position, meaning that the team's championship will continue on for another race with Shell Pick in fifth, Stoffel Van Dorn rounding out the points in sixth position, just taking Felipe Naza in the end there. Thomas Gonzalez, in fact, setting the fastest lap of the race at 128.737, so he will take a bonus point, but it won't make a difference. He'll have five points, Willows will have four points, and it means that the championship will continue on for another race at Barcelona, but it looks increasingly likely that Spaniel will take it at the feature race at Barcelona but here is the championship then Gonzalez of course still the champion pick in second position three points ahead of Van Dorn. that's going to be very interesting that scrap for second in the championship Lee in third Ocon sorry Lee in fourth Ocon in fifth Yoshida in sixth with Costa seventh Lima in eighth Verstappen ninth and Ericsson rounding out the top ten Spaniel still leading the way ahead of Willows but they probably have a big chance of winning it at the feature race next time out there we are then that has been it from FF2M here at Monza some exciting racing chaotic racing as well and we've already got one of the championships wrapped up after this race. Just one more championship to figure out, but uh, that looks like it's going more likely the way of Spaniel at the next meeting. We will see you then, guys, for the final meeting of the 2014 season. And it will be the only standalone race for FF2M this season. And it will take place at the 2nd de Barcelona Catalonia in Spain.